Most people love the status quo because it gives them a sense of security, but it can also cause you to stagnate. Last week I began a new devotional series entitled New Beginnings. In approximately a week's time, the academic world, the business world, and the religious world will be starting their new year. September is a month of new beginnings. Hopefully, we will be emerging from the clutches of the pandemic and returning to normal. But if normal is all that you're hoping for, you could be missing out on some wonderful adventures ahead. Today, I am looking at the call to newness. This is how God called Abraham. Genesis 12, verses 1 to 4. Now the Lord said to Abraham, Go from your country and from your kindred and from your father's house to the land that I will show you. And I will make of you a great nation, and I will bless you and make your name great, so that you will be a blessing. I will bless those who bless you, and he who dishonors you I will curse. And in you all the families of the earth shall be blessed. So Abraham went as the Lord had told him. I love the way verse 4 begins. So Abraham went. Abraham simply got up and went as the Lord commanded him. Eventually, he gets to the land of Canaan, and God tells him that this land is your land, the land God promised to your descendants. So Abraham worships God and builds an altar. As you answer the call to newness and progress along the way, you too will need to build an altar. No, not a physical structure, but a daily recognition of the faithfulness of God and an acknowledgement of his presence. Human beings are pretty much designed by God for fresh starts and new beginnings. As we see throughout the scripture, God delights in new beginnings and he is always ready to take us as we are and make us into the people that he wants us to become. Can you imagine being called like Abraham? God called him. God just told him to leave everything behind and follow him. You might say, well, Abraham was special. In fact, he wasn't. God didn't choose Abraham because there was something special about Abraham. God chooses whomsoever he pleases. The more attached you become to certain things, even if those things are bad for you, the harder it would be for you to answer the call to newness. But just know this, that the one who calls us is faithful. Jesus says in Matthew 19 verse 29, No one who gives up that which they hold dearly for my sake will fail to receive in this life a hundredfold in return and eternal life in the next. The call to newness can be an intimidating one for all of us, but when we step out in faith, God will bring to pass that which he has promised. So if you sense that God is calling you to leave behind the status quo for a new beginning, heed the call and move out because God has your best interest at heart and he wants to bless you. Amen.